the nation's trusted partner across the space enterprise. X has lost an estimated 40 million monthly active users in Brazil, which means everyone in Brazil who uses the app. The dispute between X and the Brazilian government started in April, when Brazilian Supreme Court Justice Alessandra de Moraes demanded the removal of seven accounts posting misinformation in support of former president Jair Bolsonaro. Musk, a self-described free speech absolutist, did not comply with the takedown requests, even though he's complied with similar takedown requests from governments in India and Turkey. By August, X said that Moraes had threatened the company's Brazil legal representative with arrest if X did not comply with his request. So X shut down its operations in Brazil. This didn't mean that Brazilian users could no longer access X, though, just that it wouldn't have any corporate representation in the country. But predictably, Moraes did not love this solution. That's when Brazil's top court formally ordered an immediate countrywide ban on X. The court also said that anyone who uses a VPN to access X could be fined about $9,000 per day, though it's not clear how the court would enforce that. According to posts from Musk on X, his other companies like SpaceX and Starlink have been sanctioned in Brazil as well. What does this all mean for Brazilian X users? Well, it's not a coincidence that Blue Sky, an open source decentralized Twitter alternative, has gained 2 million users this week, which is about a 24% increase in registered users. Culturally speaking, X's loss is Blue Sky's gain. Online fandoms tend to feature large Brazilian populations, and it's Brazilian users who are behind some of X's biggest fan accounts for artists like Bruno Mars, Miley Cyrus, and Chapel Roan. According to Garbage Day's Ryan Broderick, Brazilian culture thrives on microblogging platforms like X because of what Brazilians call zoeira, which Broderick defines as the kind of meme-filled chaos that would happen on X. This comes from the Portuguese word zoar, which means to mock or joke around. This influx of new users is a boon for Blue Sky. CEO Jay Graber wrote, quote, Brazilians were the first large group of users to join when Blue Sky first went into beta last April. We're really glad we're able to support everyone joining now. It's a silver lining, but as anyone who's tried to migrate platforms could tell you, it's not easy. 